Hello and welcome to another episode of Friday Fly Day. Delivered to you on a Monday. Sorry for being late, but uh, better late than never. We've been struggling a bit last week with content. So, we're, today we're going to be tying a anchovy surf candy pattern. Now, a deal for Kawai in the surfer schools. And yeah, a great bait fish imitation, so you can change the colors as you need to for any fly. Let's go and uh, get on with it. We'll be tying this fly on size 2 Kumo stainless steel hooks in short shank uh, from Fly Ties Dungeon, available from I Love Fly Fishing. We'll also be using Loon UV Clear thick fly finish to uh, create the body. I will be Congo Hair Baitfish Blend in Dun Shad. We'll be adding some flash with H2O flash in, I think this is pearl baitfish color. We're using some 6mm silver fish eyes, some white thread and some orange thread or orange or red floss. Okay, with the hook and the vise, I'm just gonna lay a small base of thread. Don't have to go very far back. It's just to give material something to bind onto. It can go to about there. Okay, snap that off. The first thing we've got to do is tie in our tail. So uh, this Dunshad Congo Hair Baitfish Blend has got silver and blue and gray in it. And what we're going to try and do is uh, create a little bit of a layer with the grays on the bottom and the uh, blue on the top. But you want to keep this fly very sparse. Okay, so we're just starting with a few strands of gray. And we'll just tie that in. And you don't want to go too far back. We're just creating a little bit of space for the head there. And the eyes, okay. That will do. And I will just follow that up by a bit of the blue side of the blend. Really ideal to keep this butt fly quite sparse. Don't overdo it with materials. Okay, so the blue bit's going to go on top. Tie that down a little bit. Okay. Now I'm just going to temporarily trim that far back. Just leave that for a while. Okay, so now that you've tied in your tail material, we're quickly going to tie in the flash. We don't want to put too much here. Just get two, two strands or so. Okay, so we've got our two strands of flash. We want to tie this in either side of the fly, so I'm bringing it up like we do with rubber legs. And I'm just going to extra wind on there, but I'm bringing it all the way in the front. And now I'm going to pull that back and pinch it either side of the fly, trying to keep it as much in the middle of those, mater of those materials as I can. And then I'm going to wrap back to lock those into place. Okay. You want to, want to try and get them to sit nice along the side of those to act as a lateral line. Okay, if you flash in, I'm going to we'll finish that off. Snip that off. I'm just going to trim the excess of the flash because once you start rotating this fly, this flash can cause all sorts of trouble. Okay, now I'm just going to tie in a little bit of a hot spot with some orange thread or orange floss. And just start there at the back because you want this behind the eyes. Tie that in. A few wraps, you can come a little bit forward. And then just whip finish that in there. Nice and tight, and then another one. Okay. And I'm just snip that off. Okay, now we're ready to start with our eyes. I'm just going to turn the fly on its side, and then I'm going to put a drop of UV resin. Okay, so then when you've got it on there, you just zap it with your UV lights. And that's really just to hold it in place so you can easily do the rest of the fly. And then I'm going to do the other side, same thing. Keep it in place. 
Okay. Now the fun and difficult part starts. You want to try and line these these bits up nice along the side if you can. These bits of flash and get all that material in your hand. Okay. So the first thing is you're just going to get the shape of the fly. So you're going to start your UV resin. Start your UV resin, put some between the eyes and onto your materials and let it soak in. Here's where you can use the um, thin resin first and let that soak into the materials because it does soak in a bit better. But you, you want this to move into the materials because this is just you use it to get the initial shape. Okay, and you're pulling those materials back because what that does is it makes it thin. And you want a nice thin shaped body. Okay. Seems to be looking all right for, for a start. Okay. And if that all looks all right, and your shape and your things are all right, and your things are materials are in the right position, then you just give it a quick zap so that you lock that into place. Okay. Now you've locked that into place, that shape. And now you can start to build the body. Now this is where a Rotary vice is very handy. I don't have one, so I my vice can kind of rotate, but it's not a proper rotary rotary vice. So you're filling in now those gaps between the eyes, and you're build, building a nice surf candy body shape. Be careful not to use too much resin. And you rotate the vise just to keep things even. Let that all settle and add bits where you think you need to. Go nice and even. Maybe a little bit underneath the hook there. You rotate it now. Once you are happy with it, you're happy with the shape of your fly's body, then keep rotating it and then start zapping it with your UV light, which will lock that shape into place. My UV light batteries are struggling a little bit. So I need to give it a bit longer than you'd normally need to. Okay, that should do it for me. It's a bit longer than you normally take. Okay, so there you've got your body shape. Now I'm just going to trim the tail a little bit. Um, to give it a nice shape. Well, there you have it. That's a surf candy and shoby fly. Perfect for kawai and kingfish and the uh, and shoby schools. And not too difficult to tie. You just need to get used to the uh, the using the resin properly. And the Congo here is ideal because you can nicely trim the tail and shape it the the way you want it as well. And that bait fish blend is the. Perfect blend for matching anchovies as well. Okay, if you like these videos, 
please click the link above there's more of these to watch and please click the subscribe button to uh, see all the videos that come up thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one